Hi there, welcome to English class. In lesson number four, we studied global crisis. We discussed how the coronavirus pandemic is related to globalization and how it has affected our lives. Well, today, in our final lesson of unit number one, we'll look at cultural aspects that have been affected by globalization. So, without further ado, let's get started with this lesson. Please write the number, I mean, the date. Today is June 19th, and also the name of the lesson, which is Cultural Globalization. Must have. These are the materials we need for this lesson. Go look for them before we start. We're going to use the Google Drive folder where you can find the instructions, your notebook, and of course a dictionary if you need help to understand certain things. Objective. Well, today we are going to recognize the effects of globalization on cultural identity. So take notes of the objective and take notes from now on of everything that I'm going to say and everything that I'm going to show. What is cultural globalization? Well, I'm sure you have watched a foreign movie before, right? You may have noticed that every place has some things that are the same in your hometown, such as restaurants like McDonald's or cafeterias like Starbucks. Those things, those places, you can see them in popular movies or TV shows and you can have them here as well, thanks to globalization. Or beverages like Coke or Pepsi being sold in a local shop. You can see uh, Pepsi and Coke uh, everywhere, so is a clear manifestation of cultural globalization. So, cultural globalization is basically the process by which one culture's experiences, values and ideas are disseminated throughout the world through various means. Which are these means? Internet and telecommunications in general. So, remember to write this down in your notebook. Examples of cultural globalization. Well, cultural globalization involves the spread of business ideas, food, arts, language, and celebrations. Let's look at these aspects separately. So, here we're going to start with globalization of food. Nowadays, we have access to a variety of dishes from other cultures. For example, we can have sushi for lunch and then pizza for dinner. Both meals coming from two different cultures that are now a part of our diet. So if you're hungry, you can just order pizza and that pizza that we have here is actually a meal that's traditional, traditional in Italy, or tacos that comes from Mexico, or sushi that comes from Japan. Cultural globalization of businesses. Some businesses' ideas from other places have been brought to our culture because of the successful results in other countries. For example, yoga studio yoga is a practice that started in other country, not here in Chile. Or for example, the immigrants from Central America have started businesses like male barber shops, which had not existed in our country before, and they're a part of our lifestyle now. So I've seen a lot of these, and I had never seen them before. Cultural globalization of arts. Are reggaeton or K-pop music part of the Chilean culture? The answer is no, but they are integrating by us consuming and recreating their form of art. And cultural globalization of languages. There are many words from other languages that Chileans are adopting into their vocabulary due to globalization. 
words like okay that we use every day all the time and comes from English words like heavy when something is heavy <laughs> kawaii that comes from Japan deja vu from uh, France and birra from Italy cultural globalization of celebration we also have started to adopt and participate in celebrations that have origins in other cultures for example Halloween which is like very 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 common here right now and baby showers that they didn't exist as when I was little for instance now and now everyone that is having a baby has to have a baby shower and also I added the Buddhist religion because it's something that it's taking uh, a lot of attention here and it didn't exist before as you see globalization has produced changes in our culture but does this means that we are becoming one single culture? Hmm. Well, nowadays, globalization is an overwhelming world trend. But those who oppose it are especially sensitive about loss of culture. They view globalization as a homogenization. On the contrary, advocates of globalization say that instead of creating a single boring global village the forces of globalizations are actually encouraging the proliferation of cultural diversity what do you think do you have any thoughts let's exercise our mind and we are going to work on our opinions by these following activities pay attention to these next instructions Activity number one, explain the following terms in your notebook. Pay attention to the context in the video. So you're going to go back, uh, you're going to rewind the video, and you're going to pay attention at the moments when I say these words, and you're going to explain those words to me in your notebook. You want, you're going to write them down. So then we're going to move on to activity number two, which is answer these questions using phrases to express your opinion follow the given model to answer so here you have certain questions that you need to answer using the phrases that i gave you for example in number one do you think globalization has enriched or affected your own culture why and there you're going to write i think that globalization blah 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 because blah 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 the same you're going to do in number two. Are you an advocate for cultural globalization? Why? Why not? I believe that blah, 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 because blah, blah, blah. And then number three, do you believe that globalization is creating a homogenization of cultures or it's proliferating culture diversity? Why? In my opinion, blah, blah, blah. Why? Because blah, blah, blah. And that's uh, what I need from you. I need your opinion on those three topics. So try to think critically and give uh, great answers. In activity uh, two, you're going to take a picture of yourself or draw something representing an aspect of cultural globalization that you had integrated into your own culture. For example, you can do a drawing. You can, uh, for example, here I draw uh, some french fries from mcdonald's that for me represent globalization because that comes from another culture or you can find a picture of, uh, of yourself it cannot be a picture from google it has to be from yourself uh, eating sushi or having a baby shower or something that represents the cultural globalization so those are the only activities as usual you are going to submit uh, your work and completed in the link that I left here in the description of this video the link is also available in the um, Google Drive folder in the instructions document so uh, if you have any questions please remember to reach out to me because I will be available to answer and that's all for today remember to stay home and eat healthy See you next Friday. Bye.